Not the most I'm being sleepy. And life getting to you. From ice. Happens to all of us for sure. I am from ice. Had a bit of a shitty day yesterday myself. Remember, so. you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the war will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. Oh damn! Didn't get a pink We will see each other again. What time is it there? Are you east coast or west coast or? I think it's like 7 a.m. west coast, right? to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I win. Congratulations, your lordship. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find um, you again. I'm not sure. I'm right here. But Crimson's coming and to I visit promise. in March. I'm not going to where I am, so. I wish my was here. And then hopefully within eight months, maybe longer though, knowing how slow things can be. Oh, I end up uh, moving over, depending how long the visa process takes, or if it's even successful. Hopefully it is though. I don't know what I'd do if they said no, I'd probably be pretty de devastated. Maestor Tengren said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. Gareth is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you. Nah, I'm that's probably out of there. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. Out of the to do this you. year. What? Because we've got to save up for the wedding as well, so. Your milk salt? Sir Roiland forgets himself. After all. You were the Lord yeah, we've, we've talked about it. I mean, if they say no on my visa application, then it's something to look look into. What so. does Miltsot mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. It's better if I go there, though. She's set up with a better job Even than I am, really. And she's got her pets and stuff. She doesn't like, want to leave. Like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher. That's understandable. And he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. It's a big move for either one of us, should know how to fight. Uh, it was going to be, it was going to be um, at the end of this year, and then we just couldn't get everything together in time. And then it was going to be early next year. So now we're up in the wind about it. I think we're just going to move first and then save up and sort it out a bit after. Which I think we originally wanted to do anyway, so. Thanks, I appreciate it. Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. I don't like this character I'm controlling right now. Well, I'd rather go back to the original guy I was with. Lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I get up all the sweets I want. <laughs> if only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. 
it. You have to understand, being Lord is a great responsibility. I can't just fool around. Thank you for that, Roderick. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. I might remind you, Sir Royland. I'm the new Lord of House Forester, not you. <laughs> of course, madam. It's okay. You should go. It's what must be done. Fine. Let's be done with it. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you were the Lord. Now prove it. Let's not do something rash. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the yeah, backing of House Bolton. <laughs> All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men. We'll, tell him, we'll still tell him to shove it, regardless of his army size. Army size isn't everything. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. <laughs> The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. <laughs> ah, you my scumbag. Is, I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. How dare you? I dare, and I'll do as I damn well please. Why the hell are you here? And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. Looks no like he's had too much bread and salt lately. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Calm yourself, old man. <laughs> you little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord. <laughs> you foresters shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are going to have your back, He's a lord. He's a being a douche. We're the power in the North now. Bruce Bolton is the warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. You had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Nah. Is that guy your from before I should have kicked his ass? We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. <laughs> Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason. You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the Lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. <laughs> Apparently not if <laughs> I know he's here. 
Whatever you do, he's in the wood now. Oh dear. He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me. Who's the one who did it? You heard me. He was sent to the wall. It's done. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. <laughs> this... this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house. Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Ethan made this for me. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrife, a gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her. 